Good to have you with us here on CTV News Channel. I'm Todd Vander Hayden. It's 2 o'clock Eastern, 11 Pacific. Breaking news involving one of our country's most notorious killers, Paul Bernardo. He has just been denied parole again. Marks the second time Bernardo has been denied freedom. His first was two years ago, and that was rejected in just 30 minutes. Bernardo is serving a life sentence for his crimes in the 1980s and early 1990s that included kidnapping, torture, and the killing of these two young women. Kristen French, Leslie Mahaffey. It happened near St. Catharines, Ontario. Let's bring in CTV's Angie Seth, who's standing by with more on this breaking news. Angie. Yeah, good to see you, Todd. So I'm just going to read you a statement that we've just released here. This is from the parole board saying, quote, our decision today is to deny day parole and full parole. While you have participated in programming, your understanding and insight remains limited. And as a result, we concur with the assessments you remain to be a high risk for sexual Reoffending. So that is a statement coming in uh, from Maureen Gauci. That is from the parole board based on their decision uh, that they made today. And as you mentioned there, this is Paul Bernardo's second attempt at freedom. His first was over two and a half years ago. At the time, it took the panel about 30 minutes or so to deliberate uh, that decision. Uh, both families, we know today, read their Im victim impact statements, reliving, again, that horrific loss of their daughters, never being able to experience the milestones in their lives never having any real closure. And in those statements, um, they both, uh, the French and Mahaffey families, quoted Justice Lesage, the, the same the judge who presided at Bernardo's dangerous offender application back in 1995. And he said, quote, Mr. Bernardo, you have no right to be, to ever, to be released. The behavioral restraint that you require is jail. You require it, in my view, to be in jail for the rest of your natural life. You are a sexually sadistic psychopath. Remember, he encased their bodies in cement after dismembering them. I mean, I know we're in a different day and age of low self-esteem and a different culture, but it doesn't matter whether you're in 1995 or 2021. This was not a spur of the moment, one day spree. So he would have to delve into the reasons he did this. And in terms of that reasoning, Bernardo also released a very lengthy statement that he spoke about. And this is a little bit in part here where he says he sincerely apologized to everyone I put through that sickening and horrific ordeal. He said that he was accountable for every offense he did, referring to himself as a first-time offender, as well as saying that he is virtuous. Uh, that sickening and horrific ordeal, of course, we know dates back to his 1995 conviction and life sentence for his crimes, as we mentioned there in the 80s and 90s, including the kidnapping and torturing of Christian French and Leslie Mahaffey near St. Catharines, Ontario, also in addition to the raping of 14 other women and the death of Carla Hamolka's 15-year-old sister, Tammy. In every parole hearing, this being his second, the board would have had access, and they do have access, to thousands of pages in Bernardo's case that include risk assessments. Those records remain private. However, the Mahaffey and French families have been fighting for years to have access to this entire file, Todd. And those documents would include transcripts, audio and video recording of the parole, parole hearing, as well as any other materials pertaining to his case. So as it stands right now, Todd, he has been denied once again both full and date parole. However, we would be looping back on this once again in about two, two and a half years. Um, as he'll have another chance to reapply for this standard practice. But again, for now, he remains in jail.